Hey guys, I wanted to share with you a new uh, set of plugins for Max for Live that were made by James Holden. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. He is a musical genius. Not only is he great with music, but he is incredible with technology. And what he's done is he's put together a plugin that allows you to make your set of instruments play like a band. In other words, the playing of one instrument will influence the playing of the other instrument. There will be a natural drift on and off tempo like a band usually does, slightly moving back and forth that you can adjust. There will be slight timing errors by each musician. There will be influence of each instrument influencing the other instrument in whatever way that you would like it. And then there is a setting for listening, which basically is how much each instrument listens to another instrument and takes influence from it. For example, a drummer would be a high influence uh, in a band. Everyone would really pay attention to the drummer, and the drummer would slightly pay attention to the other members of the band in order to keep everything on time. So that is generally the way that this plugin works. So let me uh, just show you here uh, to give you an idea how it works. Uh, this is just a uh, a song file that James Holden put together real simple uh, just to give an idea of how it works. So let's go ahead and play this. And as you can see over here, all the parameters mostly are at zero here. So as you can see, there's not really any variance. So this is just pretty much playing directly to quantize settings. So if I set it to the metronome, it'll just play right to it. Like so. So the next parameter would be uh, kind of like a tight band plane. So it's not locked to quantization. It is humanized. And as humans play, it varies a little bit from the metronome and the instruments vary from each other. So let me go ahead and show you that here. It might be difficult to tell the difference right off the bat, but uh, it definitely sounds more human and natural. And if I turn on the metronome, you'll notice it kind of moving away and closer to it. So. <laughs> So as you can see, the, the timing is just a little, little bit off, but never sounds so off that it doesn't sound professional. Then he made, um, I'll, I'll take like the worst case example, a band playing very off time from each other to kind of show you when the timing moves too far from each other, what can happen. So as you can hear, the parts are not playing well with each other. It's not really fitting together very well. But all those parameters are things that you can adjust yourself, so you don't have to just use these presets here. All right, so let's set this up ourselves to create our own kind of tight sounding band that doesn't sound right on the clock, but also doesn't sound like a metronome either. As far as timing error, let's take a look at what it suggests. So it suggests three milliseconds or less for a good player. So I'm gonna go with uh, 1.5 on this one. Actually, let's take this one to 0.75. We'll make this one, and the keys will be a little bit looser at 1.5. Then the motor error, see what it suggests here. 
Okay, so it doesn't suggest uh, really over one millisecond. Otherwise, it starts seeming pretty sloppy. So let's make the drummer pretty tight. Point one. Make bass player just a little looser. Point two five. And we'll make the keyboard player point four. As far as listening goes, let's set this to the bass player should be listening, I suppose. Let's set that to one. And let's set this to 1.5. See what it suggests here. Oh, I see. It says 0.5 works really well. So let's let's do that. We've got 0.5. Make the drummer 0.3. And bass player point. And let's see what that gives us here. That sounds really good. So I could definitely tell the difference in these instruments and I can only imagine as you work with more instruments that the way these all interact with each other would be very cool. So that is kind of my little walkthrough of this new plugin. It's totally free and I think you should grab it and give it a try out for yourself.